Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! Hey everybody, this is Andrew, and welcome to episode 103 of the Jaguar Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing whether the Jacksonville Jaguars should trade for New York Jets safety, Jamal Adams. So let's jump into it. I want to apologize, though, uh, offhand. I haven't been able to put out a lot of episodes in the past few weeks. Uh, I'm in the middle of a, of a move. Um, just finished it up, so just uh, set up the studio um, you know, moved into a new house. So kind of getting everything together, fixing things that are breaking. So, uh, you know, the beauties of home ownership, but, uh, everything seems to be coming together really well and, uh, we're really enjoying it. So, uh, apologize for that, but there should be more content, uh, on its way uh, to you guys. So, um, all right, let's jump into it. The potential, uh, trade for Jamal Adams um, you know, long story short, should we do it? I don't think so. Uh, I think we're pretty stacked at the safety position with Ronnie Harrison and Jared Wilson. You know, I think Jamal Adams is a great player, um, a great tackler. Um, when you look at his stats, I mean, his stats are, are really, really nice. Um, you know, he had, uh, I believe it was, um, you know, last season, six and a half sacks, uh, 75 total tackles. And then uh, he had one interception, one touchdown, and then two forced fumbles. Uh, this guy's just a playmaker. He's really good. But, um, you know, people on social media are saying that we should trade in Gakwe and a first round pick. And I'm sorry, but, you know, that is just a stupid move. Idiot. Um, definitely don't want to trade away draft capital uh, for Jamal Adams. Uh, you know, we have to sit and, and wait for a good deal. Everyone's getting antsy. They're tired of the Ngakwe drama. I understand it. I'm tired of it too. Uh, it's ridiculous, but we have to wait for a good trade deal. I think, you know, the Jags management's kind of forcing Ngakwe's hand here uh, for him to kind of help work out a trade. Um, you know, the only way I'd be on board with, uh, a trade for Jamal Adams is, is if we got a first round pick from them. So I think we'd have to give up a little bit more. Um, so if I was going to, you know, orchestrate the trade deal, I would do, you know, Ngakwe and Westbrook for Jamal Adams and a first round pick, you know, that's the way I could see it happening. Um, you know, Westbrook didn't get a lot of targets from Gardner Minshew last season. So, I think, um, you know, he's going to be an unrestricted free agent after this season in 2021. So um, if he's not getting a lot of targets, maybe maybe trade him along with Ngakwe for uh, Jamal Adams. Uh, and I think that that would be, uh, you know, a good trade. And then getting, you know, a first round pick um, in the next year's draft along with Jamal Adams, that would be worth it. But, you know, we have to build draft capital as a team, not give it away. So, you know, no way I would give away a first round pick in Ngakwe for just Jamal Adams. That's crazy. Uh, I, I don't say I don't see this trade going down. I mean, it would be nice if we got, you know, Jamal Adams and a first round pick because Jamal Adams is a great playmaker, like I said previously, and um, he just really knows how to how to. Uh, you know, force turnovers. He has a lot of sacks for, for a safety. He's a really good blitzer. And I think with, uh, with him on the team, the Jaguars would, would definitely, you know, um, be a threat as a defense, but I just don't see this trade happening. So, um, you know, those are kind of my thoughts on it. Um, you know, let me know how you feel about this, uh, situation with Jamal Adams and potential trade. Um, you know, leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode, come by uh, Apple podcast, uh, leave me some feedback that always helps me when I put together these episodes, uh, subscribe to the channel, um, you know, stay safe, stay away from the coronavirus, go Jags and I'll see you next time.
you could hear it in our ground. Intimidation on to keep their hearts racing, eating other teams live on TV front of the nation. Spectacular defensive scheme. This episode is available on the Jaguar Podcast YouTube channel. So if you stop by, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also, these episodes are available on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other major podcast distributors as well. So if you don't mind, please leave me a review and some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.